Despite a heat wave in several states, these voters are determined to exercise their democratic rights. 160 million are eligible to vote in India's second phase of election across 13 states and union territories. It includes some strongholds of the governing party Ajanta Party or the BJP in states like Assam, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. In the last 10 years, we've seen a lot of change. The government has alleviated economic distress, built better roads and addressed issues like unemployment. Since the BJP has come into power, we have not seen any Hindu-Muslim conflict. But all eyes are on the states of Kerala and Karnataka, which are not governed by the BJP. Ahead of the polls, Prime Minister Narendra Modi held several campaign rallies in leftist-governed Kerala. It's the only state where the BJP has never won a seat. This year, it hopes to change that. The Election Commission has issued notices to the BJP and the Opposition Congress for violating electoral rules after complaints by both parties. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who's seeking a third term, was accused of hate speech during a rally last week. Only because of the first phase results, eh? now Modi ji is totally panicking, brother. That is why he is doing low-level attack on Congress party. In Karnataka's tech city and capital Bengaluru, governed by the Congress, water scarcity and traffic gridlocks are major issues. The region is home to some thousands of IT companies. The city's fast-paced growth is struggling to keep pace with development and seems to be an issue for young voters. We are that sad now, we don't even think that this is something politicians can fix because they'll never talk about it. Traffic is our problem, roads are our problem, hospital is your problem. The third phase of polls will be held on May 7th. Nearly a billion people will cast their ballots in this election, which will end on June 1st, and the results are expected a few days after that. Umakul Sum Sharif, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.